What's up, folks? Welcome to my first ever draft of Duskmorn here, courtesy of Early Access. Thanks to Wizards for inviting us. We're jumping right in, baby. We'll be we'll try and read as many cards as we possibly can. Um, okay, Nashi, Searcher in the Dark, Blue Black, 2-2 two, two Menace. When it deals combat damage to a player, you mill that many cards. You may put any number of legendary and or enchantment cards from among them into your hand. If you put no cards in your hand this way, put a plus minus one counter on Nashi. Seems very good. Kind of a bummer that Skull Snap Nuisance is in the pack as another blue black card, but it might wheel. You know, no one else has to go into blue black. There's Greenhouse Rickety Gazebo, not a card I'm a huge fan of. That's a basically four mana mill four, then return up to two permanent cards from among them to your hand. Um, it seems fine. Glimmer Seeker, I think, is pretty good. Three mana, three, three with survival. If it's tapped in your second main, um, you get to make a glimmer, and then if you already control a glimmer, you draw a card instead. Um, among the commons, we've got an innocuous rat, which I like. Two mana, one, one, dies into manifest red, wary watchdog. Two mana, three, one, surveil one on, uh, enters and dies. And a land. But I'm going to try out Nashi here. I, like, one of the things to do, I think, in these events is mess around with rares um if you don't have access to them otherwise uh what's this winter misanthropic guide four mana three four ward two at the beginning of your upkeep each player draws two delirium each opponent's maximum hand size is equal to seven minus the number of those card types that's not very good uh there's valgavoth's faithful it's a reanimator spell there's growing dread the blue green signpost manifest red and then whenever you turn a permanent face up you put a counter on it and then some common removal spells here we've got a final vengeance i don't need to take it this early unable to scream i might take that this early um i think this is good plus if we're trying to go down a blue black um enchantments road um you know blue black is eerie control we're gonna want unable to scream we're gonna want enchantments like this so i think i am gonna land on this over like valgavoth's faithful strangled cemetery is here one of the unlucky lands um yeah i think we'll just give that a spin i don't think i need to take final vengeances that early all right what do we got here a rare room being your upkeep surveil one you win the game if there are eight or more different names among unlocked doors of rooms you control that's pretty cool search your library for a room card that doesn't have the same name as a room you control reveal put in your hand then shovel that's a really cool build around i don't think i'm going to take that over fear of falling for uh five mana four four flyer when it attacks target creature defending player controls gets minus two minus zero oh, and loses flying until your next turn um but that's a really cool like i hadn't seen this i, I basically I don't look at rares like i look at pour over the commons and uncommons i don't look at rares that's a cool build around win con um for a rooms deck potentially but i don't feel like going that deep just yet um Surgical Suite is here. There's also Meat Locker and Drowned Diner, which I think is fine. Tap a thing, put two stun counters on it, and then uh, five mana, draw three, discard a card, which is great. Fear of Lost Teeth, Stalked Researcher has two good cards for this uh, Eerie deck, but I'm just going to take Fear of Falling. Um, another enchantment to go with my uh, Eerie Life, and we'll see uh, see what we can't grab next. Well, I'm pretty interested in Fear of Isolation, mostly just to see like what it's about like i don't know so it's a two man two three flyer as an additional cost to cast it you return a permanent you control to its owner's hand so you could just pick up land potentially gets re eerie trigger stuff um pick up a, i think the obvious thing to do is to pick up a room and recast it right a room that gives you something on etb and then recast it but I'm just going to take it. There's my Sheltered by Ghosts, a card, a controversial card from the Crash Course that I was a huge fan of. Um, we'll see see how that plays out. Trapped in the Screen is a, a Banishing Light removal spell. More good cards. Stalked Researcher I'd be happy with. Resurrected Cultist I'd be happy with. Murder I'd be happy with. But again, I know how Murder is going to play out. I'm, I'm going to take Fear of Isolation. I'm, I'm curious to see how this goes. Um, obviously not an ideal turn to play, but we might have some one drops, you know? Get the uh, the fear of lost teeth, etc. Nice. Well, blue seems very open. It's a flood pits drowner pick five. One in a blue two one flash vigi. When it enters, tap target creature and opponent controls and put a stun counter on it. And you can pay one in a blue, tap this shuffle flood pits drowner and target creature with a stun counter on it into their owner's library. So you basically, you know, you can just stun something, 
um, can't attack for two turns if you do it on their turn. Or you can have it as a removal spell in installments, right? Tap a thing, and then while it still has a stun counter, when, when you untap, then you get to um, get to shuffle it into its owner's library. There's also a Tunnel Surveyor. Seems very good for our deck, getting a, an enchantment token for free. Innocuous Rat I'd be happy with. And we're seeing some red-white late. A Reverent Gremlin, Arabella, of course, and Hardened Escort, I think, is another good card. Hardened Escort and Arabella play really well together because hardened escort gives you the ability to get arabella through at least for for one attack um so here we've got you know it's been worth noting that we've basically just taken blue cards and then haven't seen much and we saw murder i guess and we we keep seeing the rats um but not seeing a ton and nashi is definitely going to get worse if we aren't straight blue black like i wouldn't splash this um so here i don't think i want enter the enigma or twist reality and then i see some white enchantment creatures i think i'm gonna take terramorphic expanse over razor trap gorge and i'm not a huge fan of spectral snatcher the the land cyclers i think are are not very good um so we'll take terramorphic expanse fix our mana for blue black fix our mana for splashing etc um here we've got a cracked skull which i am actually pretty interested in trying out in the stack this was another card that ben and i had uh argued about this is the basically it's thought seize and then it's uh when enchanted creatures dealt damage destroy it so you know that fear of lost teeth is a card i'm going to be really interested in if i'm blue black um this is not the one i like rad this is the draw two lose two and then whenever you attack alone that creature gets plus one plus one and gains death touch i guess that's actually pretty good with the pinger with Fear of Lost Teeth. Man, Fear of Lost Teeth is just going to be awesome. Uh, I'll take Cracked Skull here, mostly to try it out. I think Creeping Peeper could be fine, but I'd like to give that a, a, a whirl. And there is an Intruding Soul Rager, so we could backdoor into some sort of room's life. Another Greenhouse Rickety Gazebo. A Ragged Playmate, 2-minute 2-2. Two two. Target creature with power 2 or less can't be blocked this turn. Um, not crazy about Saw or Grasping Long Neck, so we'll take the Soul Rager here. You know, if that, like, rooms rare wheels, I might pivot. I don't know. And also, I think they're, like, like we've sort of pegged. I think there's a lot of archetype bleed. Like, I think you could just be Grixis Rooms Enchantments. Heck yes. Skull Snap Nuisance Wield. That makes me feel a lot better about just trying to be straight blue-black. Um, I'm going to move that Soul Rager to the side for now. Nuisance is awesome. Um, this is a two-mana 1-4 flyer. Uh, eerie Trigger. Surveil 1, which is really nice card selection ticket booth tunnel hate uh this is manifest dread for so three mana make get a two two and when whenever you attack target attacking creature gains double strike until end of turn there's a lot of those a lot of these um like whenever you attack get something kind of cards here we've got don't make a sound two mana quench and if they do pay for it you at least get to surveil too and then there's appendage amalgam i think i'll take that you know i've got enough stuff that cares about enchantments that'll take that over don't make a sound but don't feel strongly. Uh, we get a stalked researcher, which I like. I'm not going to wheel a fear of lost teeth, it looks like. Get a resurrected cultist is fine. And a bedhead beastie. All right. All right, sorry for the abrupt <laughs> shift here, but uh, something fritzed out in the video for pack two, pick one. Uh, I want to make sure that we got that in here. So a, kind of an unexciting open for us specifically. I mean, the best card in the pack, I think, so one of these green cards, three mana, three, two, survival, uh, manifest red, or under the skin is manifest red, return a permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Um, for blue, black specifically, there's tunnel surveyor, like totally fine. Um, don't like given to violence. Bill Merc Leech, I think is whatever. Killer's Mask, I think is okay. Uh, three mana, manifest red, a menace creature, and then equip two. Um, but I think I'm actually going to take Victor Valgavoth's Seneschal. This is one white black for a 3-3 with uh, Eerie, Surveil 2, and then you, if you Eerie again in the same turn, they, they discard a card, and if you do it a third time, you get to just reanimate a creature, uh, put a creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Um, and I think we've got enough time and there's enough fixing in the format for us to be able to take it. So that's what I landed on. All right, moving on here. Seems like a slam dunk. Nowhere to run. One in a black. 
Flash enchantment gives a thing minus three, minus three until end of turn. Um, there's another unable to scream. There's a given to violence, which I'm not crazy about. What else do we have here? Well, there's oblivious bookworm. Just really, really strong signpost there. Um, Arabella again. Um, more stuff looks like for, you know, red, white aggro. Moldering gym weight room. That's the been dubbed a beanstalk giant variant. Three mana, search up a basic. And then six mana, manifest red, put three counters on the creature. So, but nowhere to run for sure for us. There's another skull snap nuisance versus a blue card and a black card that I'm not crazy about. And I don't know, Lionheart Glimmer, five mana, two, five. Enchantment creature ward two whenever you attack, creatures you control get plus one plus one until end of turn. There's fear of immobility. It's the 5-mana 4-4, four, four, tap a thing. If an opponent controls that creature, put a stun counter on it. Um, like this card, actually, the 3-mana 5-4, trample. You have to tap two other things when you cast it. And then an Altanac, of course, with uh, the say-its-name synergies and just being a good good big beater. But second Skull Snap nuisance for us. What do we have? Leyline of the Void. No, no, no. That ain't it. Oh, but Unwilling Vessel is excellent here. A 3-mana three 3-2 three, Vigi has Eerie. Whenever, you know, the, the Eerie trigger, you get to put a possession counter on it, and then when this dies, you make an XX blue spirit creature token with flying where X is the number of counters on it. So a real a real nice way to uh, to benefit from playing all of these enchantments. What's Cursed Recording? 4-mana artifact. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a time counter on Cursed Recording. Then if there are seven or more counters on it, remove those counters, and it deals 20 damage to you. When you cast an instant, when you next cast an instant or sorcery spell, this turn copy that spell. That's interesting. Interesting. So you only get to do it seven times, I guess. Ooh, um, I'm saying ooh because I like Defiled Crypt Cadaver Lab. So a pretty clunky looking uh, Grave Digger, right? Four mana. Whenever uh, one or more cards leave your graveyard, you make a two-two. And then single mana, whenever you unlock this for return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. But we've actually already got one thing that synergizes with it, which is Nashi. Mill that many cards, and then you can put any number of enchantment cards from among them into your hand. So that synergizes with it. I wonder what else we might have. Um, nothing yet, I suppose. But yeah, we'll take the Defiled Crypt for sure. Excited about that. Well, there's one. There's one way to do it. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield or destroy target creature. That's pretty bad for me rate-wise. Um, there's also a Radic Apparition, 3-mana, 1-3 flyer with Eerie, plus and plus 1 until end of turn. I think that's pretty bad. Another Enter the Enigma. And what's Painter's Studio? Oh, right, that's the draw effect, and then attacking creatures get plus and plus. So that seems pretty good to me, actually. Um, we'll take Liver Die. I would like some better stuff to reanimate, but at least it synergizes with the Crypt and uh, potentially synergizes with, uh, or just also just gives us a kill spell, which we don't have yet. Uh, there's another Meat Locker, Drown Diner, which I like. There's Fear of the Dark, but I think I'm going to take Neglected Manor. I, I am pretty interested in Splashing Victor. Um... And Terramorphic Expanse plus Manor makes that pretty doable. So I'll do that. Um, so many greenhouse rickety gazebos running around. Creeping Peeper versus Enter the Enigma. Take a Creeping Peeper, I suppose. Doubt, doubt that I end up playing it. Like we're, we're pretty chock full of playables here. So like cards that I'm not crazy about right now. Creeping Peeper. I'll be honest, I'm not crazy about Fear of Isolation either, but we'll see. Um, what do we got? Bill Merck, Leech. What's my enchantment count? It's not high. Killer's Mask. That's probably better than the Leech. I just don't think this card matters, like, at all. Yeah, Mask is good. Actually, Mask plays well with uh, Fear of Isolation. Pick up that permanent and... Then manifest dread again. Um, nothing here that we're gonna play. Just take a unsettling twins. 
looking pretty good. I definitely think kill spells and and fear of lost teeth, the one drop that pings. Those are cards that are high on my list. Um, but otherwise, I guess fear of falling is a good card to reanimate. We definitely are unlikely to have delirium, I would say, with resurrected cultist. Might need to find an artifact. I guess I have that artifact. Cracked skull. Would like to play. I guess I guess we also have nowhere where to run. We're not hard up. We have nowhere to run. We have drowner. We're not that hard up on um, removal. We have unable to scream. No, we're we're good on removal. Probably means we won't end up playing live or die. We'll see though. Okay. Here we've got uh, black red land. Don't really need that. There's an unnerving grasp. This is the manifest a war. Return up to one target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Manifest dread. Valgavoth's faithful. Not really interested in that. I am medium interested in glimmer burst. Draw two cards, make a glimmer. Winter's intervention. Two mana deal two, gain two. I'm pretty mid on this card. I think it's between grasp and glimmer burst. I guess we just take grasp. Burst having I mean, I have a lot of stuff that wants me to have enchantments, so maybe I am just gonna take burst actually, just just maximum enchanties. A uh, real bummer here that I I can't take paranormal analyst. Love this card, two mana one three manifest dread. You just get the card into your hand that you would put into your graveyard. Um, but I think we'll take underwater tunnel and aquarium. So you get a surveil two, and when you unlock this door, manifest red, then put a counter on that creature. So four mana manifest red. It's not great, but it is two enchantments, two two eerie triggers on top of that, which I think is worthwhile over a second liver die. I can go back to this view here. Take the tunnel. So funny, the one practice draft that I did um, like through the Lord's Limited Discord was all i also ended up in blue black um here we'll take fear of imposters i think i'm i'm interested in this three mana three two flash when it enters counter target spell its controller manifests dread i think we're definitely in the mark in like the right deck for this with caring about enchantments otherwise we have scrabbling skull crab which is cute but i'd rather have more of these i don't think i just want one um, and i don't need another cracked skull here Speaking of, I think we'll probably cut the first one. I basically just only want that if uh, these are really four drops. I think we'll probably not play Creeping Peeper. Let's see. Tale of Tamio, you're not good, right? Mill two cards of two cards that shared a card type were milled this way. Draw a card and repeat this process. Exile any number of target instant sorcery and or planeswalker cards from your graveyard. Copy them. You may cast any number of the copies. No, I think we'll just take another white land for our victor splash. Seems worth it. And here, here we can snap up a winter's intervention. It's also found footage. Good for the delirium decks, I suppose. There's resurrected cultist. There's inquisitive glimmer. It's the two mana two three makes enchantments and rooms room unlocking cheaper but yeah we can take another little removal spell here just take stock of where we're at only 12 creatures i think that has to be a little bit Ooh, another glimmer burst i think i will take that um it's like 12 creatures but like killer's mask is also a creature um what do we got nowhere to run intervention nashi two nuisances tunnel defiled yeah cool take another glimmer burst that brings us to 21 playables two glimmer bursts and two nuisances in terms of like card draw and card selection i could really see running 18 lands here so we'll see how it all shakes out um at the end here derelict attic again and there's a murky sewer and a commune with evil three mana 
top four, put one into your hand, the rest in your graveyard. Uh, I don't think I care about that. I think we'll just take a murky sewer here. It's possible I want the derelict attic, but ooh, wow, three glimmer bursts? Sure. I hope that card is good, because I'm going to play three of them. I guess we'll find out. I guess we will find out. There's a Valgavoth's Faithful, a second Winner's Intervention, a Malevolent Chandelier. I don't think I don't think we're the, quite there yet, but we'll we'll get there eventually in the in the format for sure. I don't think I want to play multiple Winner's Interventions. Could be wrong though. Nice little blue looks like blue black value control. What does this do? You get to surveil two. It's the second time they discard. If it's the third time. Put a creature card from a graveyard under the battlefield under your control. Another way to trigger Defiled Crypt Cadaver Lab. I think we will play Live or Die. I don't think we'll play a second one, though. Uh, Enter the Enigma Cackling Slasher. This card's terrible. Fear of the Dark. Five mana, five, five. I mean, it's a card. I don't know. Another Cracked Skull. I'm really going to miss not having any Fear of Lost Teeth in this deck. But other than that, I think we're good. Maybe we play the 5-5 five five over Appendage Amalgam. Shroud Stomper, anybody? Nah. Looks like no one ended up in black-white. So yeah, let's just uh, go ahead and add, what, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like we have a little bit more blue, so we'll throw in one more island and uh, call it good. See you for the games. All right, here we are for game number one. We got a nuisance. We got some enchanties. Let's keep, actually, not sure I wanted to keep Resurrected Cultist in my deck, but here we are. Island for the opponent. Oh yeah, Cadaver Lab's really nice with all the surveilling we can do as well. Paranormal Analyst, that's scary. In a blue-green deck, that's very scary. Play our Nuisance. I guess I don't really want you manifesting dread, huh? Might just use this as a an attempt to ambush the Analyst. Um, so we'll go ahead and attack. <laughs> Growing Dread, wow. Wow, 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 okay. I still think we're on the same plan. So they're going to have to manifest Dread, and then if they turn stuff up... It's a counter. Bend a land, but they get the land. Gosh, that is value. Gosh, that is value. Send both. All right. An attempt to ambush. Counter. Okay. Take three. What is this? Deals combat damage to a player, choose one that has it. You get two counters on a draw card, becomes a copy of another target creature you control. Wow. Okay. So, I don't have anything mana efficient to do other than play Glimmer Burst. And then the next turn, I can play Cultus and Intervention. And I guess I'm going to just pass then. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm going to Glimmer Burst. Try and double block the face down. Can bend that land. Oh, what is it? It's a 4-3. Yikes. I guess with Growing Dread, yeah. Maybe that double block is terrible. Okay. So now... Well, now my Winter's Intervention is terrible as well. But I think we probably have to use it. We could also do a Cadaver Lab Crypt to get a 2-2. Two -two. Seems bad. Oh, we've got Delirium, huh? Great, just like that. Yeah, maybe getting my 1-4 flyer back is right so I can dig to ways to kill this. I guess I should have just killed this, is what I'm learning. Is that now I see this. I thought they would have drawn a card, but of course they're going to make it a 3-3 first. Yeah, I, I am, I'm losing here. So we'll play... I think we play Crypt. And then unlock. Get back Nuisance. Get a 2-2 two -two pass. Moldering Jim, there's the Mana Dork. Not Mana Dork, but Beanstalk Giant. It looks like something's getting fought here as well. Uh, yeah. Double block again. And get a 1 1 flyer. Oh my goodness. Second analyst. All right, so here we can. Oh, it was just number of counters. And so because that had a possession counter and a plus one, plus one counter, they got a 2-2 two -two instead. Um, okay, then I'm going to play Nuisance, Researcher, and I guess Intervention, the 2-2 two -two flyer. Probably should have just done that on my turn. Bashful Beastie. When it dies, manifest dread. Oh, and then they can make Bashful Be a copy of Bashful Beastie. Wow. Alright, kill the flyer. Gain two. There's a glimmer burst. Sure. Nothing. Nothing doing. Uh, no. Not helping. Land. Oh, I could have played Murky Sewer and Cultist. I guess these stacked doesn't matter. 
I was like, oh no, but this is not actually how that works. They'll still just draw a card. Green looking great, for sure. Monstrous Emergence, okay. And a Cryptid Inspector. So we just double block this one, right? Or I guess like this. Take seven. Yep, Manifest Dread. This gets a counter. Yeah. This deck is scary. There's Victor. But I can't really afford to not do everything with my mana this turn. So let's go Aquarium. I want that. Well, that's so awkward because I'm about to manifest red. Oh. So I guess we've been that. Okay. Vessel for sure. And then cultist gives me a 4 1 and a 2 2. And I get a fear of falling. Okay. No attack still. Okay, there's your big old weight room. This is wild. Now they have a counter spell. I think we can probably call it. Yeah, I think we can call it. Well, I guess I'll just let them hit me. Yeah. It's early access. Shouldn't be conceding early. We'll just we'll just let it happen. All right. All right, we, this is close to keepable. I mean, any land gives me these three drops. I just, I don't. I don't know. I think no, I think no. All right, here we've got, ooh, fear of isolation, nowhere to run. I'm into it. I think this is a keep and we get rid of the aquarium. Yeah, okay. Lead on Murky Sewer. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and pass. Got a Manifest Dread here, cool. Another blue-green opponent. Hate to see it. Binning, what is this rare? Exile target card from a graveyard. Sack ghost vacuum, put each creature card exiled with it onto the battlefield under your control with a flying counter on each of them is a 1-1. One, one. That's interesting, okay. Flash this in, kill whatever you manifested, which was a land, and then play Fear of Isolation and pick up Nowhere to Run. That's a combination platter right there. Another Manifest Dread. Binning Unable to Scream. Playing a third land, all right. 
I see no reason not to just fire this off right now before he gets a chance to flip it up. It's just a land. Okay. Wicker Folk Thresher. Yep. We'll just kill that. Before any shenanigans. That card seems busted. And there's dissection tools. Oh yeah, this is the 4-4 four, four lifelink death touch. This is also a busted card. So play Fear of Falling. Attack, hope to trade, I guess. This is, and it's uh, equip sack of creatures. So this is manifest red and then attach this to it. Plus two, plus two, lifelink death touch. Cryptid Inspector, is this getting turned face up? Let's find out. <laughs> that was just death touch and indestructible. Okay. Well, I'm in trouble. Play land out. Uh, am I double blocking? I guess. Oh, what is this? Okay. Oh my goodness. Swarm Weaver. Wow. So we just didn't get like, you know, the, the bombs that people seem to be having. Uh, wow. Yeah, we're in a huge amount of trouble here. We're basically dead. This card quality is unmatched so just draft green i guess all right start off with a glimmer burst we get a winter's intervention and nothing okay yeah this card seeming poopy so far as well it's good this is all we're getting the kinks out here So five three, okay. Oh, I guess I should have killed this. But they're not gonna sack that. Well maybe they will. They might try and equip it, like sack the swarm weaver, but they have no reason to. Return of one target element, wow. Yep. I'm not doing it. I thought I was doing powerful stuff with the Nowhere to Run. I'm not doing anything powerful. Yeah. All right. You got it. All right. We'll be on the play. And we've got Nashi on turn two. See how that's going to work out. Bale Merc Leech. All right, we get an attack. Get in. Get a counter. Could be more exciting, but we'll take it. Getting us closer to Delirium. Red Black is what our opponent seems to be on. And send. Appendage Amalgam. So we're getting doubled on Nashi, and we'll trade with the 3-2. Okay. And do we play Vessel? Or do we just play Glimmer Burst? I think we Glimmer Burst here.
Love to be mana efficient, you know? Bedhead Beasties. They have something for red red, huh? First strike during your turn, whenever an opponent draws a card, it deals one damage to them. Okay, I'll do this first then. Oh, nice. And we have the combo here. Uh, no blocks. Nice. They do let me stop here. Kill you. No damage to me. Play a murky... S oh, actually... This is just an A player. Yeah, so we attack both... Then we play Sewer, and we can play Vessel. Nice. This game's going better, not having to contend with green creatures. Resurrected Cultist for the opponent. Okay. Yeah, let's go fear. Pick you up. That's in. Do we want to replay it? Who just glimmer burst? I feel like we're just glimmer bursting here. Send both. Wait, really? Okay, I don't know what this is. Scorching dragon fire. Okay. Nice. All right, we go first. Mm, we'll keep. Fetch a planes. Which is like slightly awkward because we have three blue black two drops, but I think it's right. Play a researcher. Got a cultist, which I guess could get countered here. No, we're good. Triple blue for the opponent and nothing to do for it. Wonder if they have the flash 3-2? Because they had a pause there. Unable to scream. Okay. All right, now we have no pressure for them, which is awkward. Okay. We've got a victor. You do have fear, okay? Counter that spell. I get to manifest dread this amalgam. Sure. Artifact in the bin. 
pass. Unable to scream. I mean, I might as well turn this up, right? Are they mono blue? Could that be true? Ooh. Fear of isolation is nice. Because now I kind of want to try and get Victor back in their end step, and then I can get the triple. All right, no, no attacks. Go ahead. Glimmer burst. Should I do it now while they're tapped out? Yeah. I think so. No, because this doesn't have flash. Uh, it's like, do they have another counter spell? Because like, we can play around the quench. Do they have another fear of imposters? Exactly. Fear of I. Oh. You wouldn't. Okay. Pass. Well, I guess we have to do this and hope they counter it. They did not. And I'll deal three to you. Okay. I should just do this now though. Return, like I know you're gonna do it and I have the mana, so I might as well. Man, not being able to respond to the pickup there is kind of crazy. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you should have done this in a different order, but whatever. Okay. Uh, sure. All right. Nuisance is nice. And then this. Pick you up. Oh no, I want that for sure. And do we kill the fear so we can attack for five? Yeah, I think so. Eh, no, I should have just attacked and then I could have just gotten the trade there. It's not a big deal. Like, if you trade with my land or my 3-3, who cares? Triple unable to scream. And then the mines... What is this? Can't be blocked. Deal damage to an opponent. Run that damage and each opponent mills that many cards. Sheesh. Okay. Do you... Wow, brutal. You know, mill me for 10 in two turns. Dang. Yeah, so definitely getting got here pretty hard. Mill me for 10, and I'm just dead. Stocked researcher, you probably have another counter spell. Flood pits drowner. All right. So you're saying there's a chance, but you've got something here. But yeah, we'll attack for one. It's a pretty good top deck. Glimmer burst, okay. Mind Skinner has to have been one of the first 
picks there. Like that's an incentive to do mono blue. Very cool deck. Piranha fly. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, they're going to top that. Okay. So very dead. Once more. Take two. Oh, no, mill two. Rip. And tunnel surveyor, yep. And swamp GG. All right. little spewy with that removal spell that could have saved me but their deck was just sweeter like our deck just didn't do anything didn't do anything powerful at least 18 lands with the best of one i don't know i'm out of practice with the best of one life i just want to peep this deck real quick like yeah it just like it set up the early game well but for nothing powerful later so i think like we really needed i mean we really needed higher rarity stuff but then we also really needed um I don't know the name of it, but the other signpost, the three mana two two can't block flying lifelink. I think that could have been really good. I think that's a real key piece more than these nuisances, obviously. Um, all right, we go again. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content.